The TiVo Michelangelo is the first completely pre-built printer by TiVo. I've had the privilege of working with TiVo when they're a brand new company, and many of you have used my build videos to help you build your TiVo Tarantula. Now, I've owned pretty much every TiVo product that has come out up until now, and they were all do-it-yourself build kits. At this point in time, I'm just done with building printers from a kit, so I was very excited to see that TiVo was launching a completely pre-built printer. I was very excited to get my hands on this guy and put out a review for you guys. So, uh, first let's get to the negatives, and there's not very many. Uh, for one, the printer is rather small at a, a 150 by 150 by 150 print volume. So depending on your use, that may or may not work for you. For uh, my purposes, for what I really wanted this printer for, which I'll explain at the end of this video, um, it's perfect for me. The other is a non-heated build plate. This actually doesn't bother me that much since I don't really print anything but PLA. Because of it not having a heated bed, newer users may struggle getting their bed set to the perfect height for a good first layer. And as uh, even if you're new, you probably know that first layer is the most important one. Um, blue painter's tape helps a lot. And there's also a product out there called, um, uh, uh, it's by Gecko Tech. And I believe it's a, it's a cold print bed. I can't remember what it's called, but it's by Gecko Tech. I will put the link in the description. Uh, it works awesome for cold printing. I've been using that for a while. Um, and now the positive. Uh, first off, simply, it just works. I mean, right out of the box, I had zero issues. Within five minutes, I had my profile and Simplify 3D set up for the printer, and I was off in printing. Um, the uh, it, it was a little wonky trying to level the bed just because it was hard to get to a couple of the, the uh, screws while you're doing the level uh, bed function on the, on the screen there. But... Um, it wasn't a big deal, and leveling it was super easy. Um, it's very well built. I mean, I just have it uh, pulled out of the box, set it up. Um, didn't really have to do a whole lot to it. Uh, seems to be well built. Prints come out beautifully, which tells me that uh, it's very structurally sound. It's got a very small footprint, like I described, which could be a negative for some because of the print volume size. Uh, but it takes up very little space. I can actually put it in my office with me, have it sit in the corner. I can watch it print while I'm doing other stuff. So I do like that. Um, everything is enclosed in one machine. So you can unplug the power, the power cord from it, pick up the whole thing, and uh, off you go. So that is awesome. Um, the cooling fans on it are really good. And um, like I said, the prints just look really, really good. I've been super impressed with this little guy. Um, so yeah, definitely... Uh, 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 very high praises for me from this printer. Um, I did mention earlier uh, about the Gecko Tech uh, cold print bed. Uh, give that a look into. Blue painter's tape works great too. Um, you may want to 3D print a spool holder at some point to uh, uh, to help with your, your printer spools. Um, but at the end of the day, the printer is exactly what I wanted. I love printing accessories for my board games, and this little guy fit the bill perfectly. There are not many cases where you need to print items for board games that are bigger than this can print. For an avid board gamer, I feel this printer is a perfect addition. Like painting minis and building organizers, making your own accessories for your board games is one of the great things about the hobby. So hit up Thingiverse to download and print some awesome board game items or learn Tinkercad or another CAD software and make your own. Happy gaming and printing.